all the names, release all the names. We don't want to cover up. Spies are the lies, spies are the lies. No two N, C and D. What do we want? Release the names. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Release the names. When do we want it? Now. Like many green activists in the 90s and noughties, um, I was arrested uh, as a result of undercover police officers who then lied in court, lied to solicitors. Uh, so my convictions were quashed as a result of their actions. Um, and 20 years later, it's now, you know, hopefully going to become clearer in the next six months, a year, the degree of infiltration of activist movements. But at the moment, we know that there was about 130 undercover police officers. We only know the identity of 14 of them. So we're here today to try and get the uh, Judge Pickford to rule that the police have to disclose the other 90% of undercover coppers because it's a bit ridiculous having a public inquiry into the effects of undercover policing when we only know the, uh, the ID of 10% of, of the undercover coppers. I think it's absolutely vital that the public inquiry releases all the cover names of all the officers so that people uh, are able to come forward and give evidence about how they were spied on. I only know about it through years of detective work and finding it out myself. Nobody else should have to go through that amount of effort. In the middle of February, I discovered that John Dines, my former partner, uh, who'd been an undercover policeman, was going to be part of a training programme for Indian police officers in, in Australia, where he's now working at a police training institution. And I was extremely concerned when I read that that training included training in left-wing extremism, and I was very worried that the training was going to include the kind of discredited human rights abuses that have now been ruled out in this country as completely inappropriate. So I went there to confront him and to try and prevent that taking place. A new spy, police spy, was uncovered. He spied on the Socialist Party and anti-racist organisations um, in around 2000, 2005, 2006. He had a relationship with a female activist for about a year and he lodged with activists, obviously, so that he could infiltrate their lives and the organisations that they were part of. We discovered that uh, the New Monitoring Project had been spied on by uh, an undercover officer during the 1990s, um, which came as a, as a, a shock, really, um, in part because at the time we were, we were a council-funded organisation. We were involved in campaigning that was very critical of the police, particularly around deaths in police custody, um, and in support of the Lawrence family. The second uh, level of, of spying after the 90s was, was our involvement in, the, uh, in supporting the family of Georges Jardim Menezes in 2005. So there's two, de two separate decades, two separate spies by the sound of it. I haven't got core participant status yet, but I am trying to get it. And I'm doing that because I was spied on by the police as well. They actually had me on their domestic extremist database for over a decade. This has reached to so many different strata in society. Politicians, journalists, lawyers, activists. So I just think today is incredibly important because we need to make sure that the Pitchford Inquiry is open. But the whole inquiry is incredibly important to lay a lot of distress and fury to rest. If Lord Justice Pitchford decides that he's going to go along with the, the secret in inquiries that, that the, the Met and others have requested, or, to be honest, if he goes to some classic British establishment compromise of trying to find a middle ground somewhere between the two, if that doesn't involve releasing the names of the undercover officers, then we're going to walk away. Because we, we will still be in the position of not knowing anything about the surveillance that happened to us. And what's the point of wasting our time for the next two years on an inquiry that's not going to tell us anything? We want the release of the undercover names. We are opposed to the police hiding behind neither confirm nor deny. We are opposed to secret courts. We want a fully public inquiry. We want a public venue. We want the police giving evidence in public. What do we want? Give us the names. When